Lewis and Ford, Chrysler, Chevrolet, and Buick combined. Matchbox cars, each for about a buck. What's up, friends? Brandon here. You're watching the Scale Racing Channel. It's race day. We're going to send 32 vintage Matchbox cars down the track. Two at a time, heads up racing down this quarter-mile drag strip. This was a pick your ride, so if your car makes it onto the podium, I'll give you credit where credit is due at the end of the race. And remember to smash that like button and leave a comment down below, even if it's just to say what's up. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. If you miss this pick your ride, don't worry. Most of my 32 car bracket races are set up this way. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell to make sure you're not left in the dust on future uploads. I used a random name picker to determine our running order. And it's going to be how you see it right here. We're running rocket round. So the fastest pass with lane swaps will advance that car onto the next round. If I see greater than a car length gap, it's going to be a one and done. And for the final, I want to see best three out of five. There's been a few additions to the collection since I did the intro video, and the green AMX is a new one for me, and this pink Wildcat Dragster is also new. What we're going to do is run these cars off in a preliminary round, and whoever wins between these two cars is going to go into the bracket. So don't worry, if you pick the blue AMX to win, I'll go ahead and transfer your name over to the green one. I have a feeling it's probably going to be quicker anyway. And same goes here. The Cobra Mustang wasn't picked by anybody, so I don't think I'm hurting any feelings there, but it really doesn't roll all that well and I think we'd rather see this Wildcat Dragster go down the track anyway. So we're gonna run these guys off first. Winner of those two races are gonna take the two empty spots in the bracket. Are you with me? Well, let's go. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the prelims. We got the blue cam cracker, which is the AMX in lane number two, and the green AMX in lane number one. The green one weighing in around 40 grams, while the blue one weighs in at about 37 and a half grams. If there's any other details you want to see on any of these cars that are in this race, make sure you go to the Vintage Matchbox intro video, and I go over all of the details of all the cars in that video. On your marks, get set. Go! Yep, there you go. 2381 to a 2456. That was pretty good gappage. So we're going to go ahead and leave the blue car out of it. Anybody who picked the blue car, you're going to be now driving the green Amex. And up next, we got the Wildcat Dragster in lane number one, weighing in at about 37 and a half grams. It's basically a 1965 Mustang. It does have the five spoke wheels with the speed ring. And we've got the Cobra Mustang in lane number two, also about 37 and a half grams. And I think you'll see here in just a minute why I decided to omit the Cobra. On your marks, get set. That should answer any questions. 2.329 to a 2.661. That car just continues to get slower. Uh, again, these wheels, the bracket style wheels, looks like a little bracket right there. Um, not a fan, don't like them. Uh, even with the speed rings, this car just does not get it done. But the Wildcat Dragster does. He'll be moving into the bracket. And here's a look at round one bracket setup. Round one race matchups, we've got the Silva Spider driven by Bloodhound 122 and the Renault 17 TL driven by Mark D of Cut Rocker in end count. All right, here we go. First race around number one. One thing I want you to notice how quiet these cars run down the track. On your marks, get set, go. Silva Spider, 23.23 to a 23.58. That was right at a car length. We'll go ahead and swap lanes. Lane just swap. The Renault needs to be to 23-23 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. About the same thing as last time. 23-16 to a 23-51. Civis Spider moving on. Next, we have the Ford Group 6, which went unpicked, versus the Monteverdi High by Hamza's Fun Channel. On your marks, get set, go. And it's a 23.43 to a 23.87. Monteverdi High, right at a car length. Lane just swap. The Ford needs to beat a 23.43 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. 
not gonna happen. 2341 to a 2389. Monteverdi High, moving on. Next, we have the Wildcat Dragster, which was a replacement for the Ford Cobra Mustang, which went unpicked, and the Beach Buggy, which also went unpicked. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, look at the road. Dragster, go! 2324 to 2361. That was definitely gappage. So the Wildcat Dragster moves on. Up on deck, we've got the Silver Street driven by the Kibitzer, Res Wheels, and CB versus the Mercedes 350 SL driven by Hot Wheels Time Trials and Phoenix Diecast. On your marks, get set, go. Got a pretty tight race, but it's the Silver Street 2317 to a 2323. Pretty close race. But the street takes it. Mercedes needs to be to 2317 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. Might do it. Oh, 2319 to a 2332. Silver Street beating out the Mercedes by 2,000 since first run. He'll be moving on. Next up, we've got the Mazda RX500, which went unpicked, and the Ford Capri, driven by Redline Salvage Inc. and Troy Owens. On your marks, get set, go. And the Capri with gappage, 2366 to a 2409, putting the Mazda to bed early. The Capri moves on. The Blue Shark, driven by Elevation Diecast Racing and ACR V8, versus the Isso Griffo, driven by Doug McLaren and Steve Brandon. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, the Griffo with the jump, Blue Shark drives around him. 23.55 to a 23.48. Blue Shark takes the first one. Laser swap, the isogryfo needs to be to 2348, staying it. On your marks, get set, go. Pretty tight. Twenty-three fifty-six to a 2361. Blue Shark getting beat by about 5 thousandths in that second race, but the ISO wasn't fast enough to beat his first run. So the Blue Shark will be moving on. Here we have the Lamborghini Marzal, driven by Castanets, and the Savannah RX-7, driven by Planeta das Miniaturas. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, the Lamborghini, taking it by about half a car length, 2345 to a 2356. Lambo takes the first one. The RX-7 needs to beat a 2345 to stay alive. On your marks, get set, go. And it looks like Lamborghini taking it by about a Fender 2363 to a 2390. So the Lamborghini Marzal moves on. Next up, we got the Baja buggy driven by Kenny Backus versus the Freeman Inner City Commuter going driverless. On your marks, get set, go. Uh, pretty even race. Looks like a Freeman had the jump. And yes indeed, 2367 to a 2368. Beach Buggy has slightly longer legs than the Freeman. Lanes are swapped, the Freeman needs to be to 2367 to move on. On your marks, get set. Oh my goodness. 2350 to a 2387. <laughs> That's gonna do it for the Freeman. He'll be moving on. Next up is Dodge Charger Mark III, driven by Your Nightmare Racing versus the AMX Javelin, driven by Fred G. 
On your marks, get set, go. Look at that. Dodge go. 2310 versus a 2367. That is a one and done for the Dodge. He'll be moving on to the next round. It's the BMW 3.0 CSL driven by Benjamin L. Clark versus the Blaze Buster driven by Big Poppy Racing, Bobby D's Lakeside Raceway, and Smooth Cruise. On your marks, get set, go. Blaze Buster with the jump stays ahead. The BMW is catching him though. 2347 to a 2356. Blaze Buster takes the first one. Lanes are swapped. The BMW needs to beat a 2347. Stay in it. On your marks. Get set. Go. Blaze Buster staying out in front the entire way. 2346 to a 2353. Blaze Buster moves on. Next up is a Midnight Magic driven by Dennis Stevens 15B, Blue Line Racing, and St. Titus versus the Rally Royale driven by Bob Jones. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, the Rally Royale. Ow, just dusted. Midnight Magic, 2341 to a 2400. That's a one and done for the Rally Royale. Here we have the Citroen SM driven by anything and everything versus the Road Dragster driven by Poverty Hollow DCR, Marcus Reichel, Hippie Wild Child Racing, and Cash Money Boys. On your marks, get set, go. Another pro. The Dragster. My God, did you see that Citroen swim? Twenty-three twenty-two to a twenty-five oh two. Road Dragster moving on easily. And the skinny rear end is not helping this car one single bit. Next up, we've got the MBX field car driven by DXP Racing and Gruesome Twosome driven by Golem Majorison. On your marks, get set, go. Gruesome. Twosome. 23.22 to a 23.84. I think this is probably one of the oldest cars on the table tonight. Putting the field car to bed early. It's the Porsche 910 driven by Craigster Nelson Sr. versus Dragwar driven by Northern Roads Racing. On your marks, get set, go. Dragwar out with the jump, 910 trying to catch up to him. 23.36 to a 23.42. Dragwar taking the first one. Lanes are swapped. The Porsche needs to beat a 2336 to advance. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, what is it? Twenty-three forty-two to a twenty-three fifty-five. Dragwar with the faster first run. It's going to move him on to the next round. Next up, we have the Datsun One Twenty Six X going driverless versus the Atlas, driven by Jet Young. On your marks, get set, go. That's the Atlas. Starting to swim a little bit. Still had enough to stay in the lead. Twenty-three seventy-four to a twenty-three ninety-five. Atlas taking the first one. Laser swap the dots and needs to beat a 2384 in order to survive. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Dump truck, found a 16th gear. 2336 to a 2346. Pretty good race. Atlas moves on. And for the last race of round number one, we've got the Vauxhall Gilsman, driven by David Griffith and GNR Vintage Diecast Racing versus the Maserati Bora, driven by Kane Grote. Last race of round number one. On your marks, get set, go. Pretty tight. 20 <laughs> Twenty-three seventy-five to twenty-three ninety-two. Looks like the Vauxhall was doing good until he started swimming. 
allowed the Maserati to get around him. Lanes are swapped. The Vauxhall needs to be to 2375 to advance. On your marks, get set. Go! Vauxhall looking for a serious jump. 2347 to a 2374. And that right there is fast enough to move the Vauxhall on to the next round. Round one of the books. Winners on the inside, losers on the outside. Well, what did you guys think about round number one? You know something? That was a sweet number. It sure was. You know something else? What? I hate sweet numbers. <laughs> First race at round number two. It's the Civis Spider in lane number one and the Monteverdi High in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go! Civis Spider. Greater than a half a car length. 2317 to a 2341. Civis Spider taking the first one. Lanes are swapped. The Monteverdi High needs to be to 2317 to move on. On your marks, get set, go! All Siva, all the way down. 2333 to a 2357. Siva, moving on to the next round. Next up, we've got the Wildcat Dragster in lane number one and the Silver Street in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go! Good race, but it is the Silver Streak. Twenty-three twenty to a twenty-three twenty-nine. Silver Street takes the first one. Laser swap. The Wildcat Dragster needs to beat a twenty-three twenty in order to advance. On your marks, get set, go. Wildcat with the jump. Silver Streak getting him on the big end. Twenty-three forty-two to a twenty-three sixty-nine. Silver Streak moves on. Next up, we got the Ford Capri in lane number one and the Blue Shark in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. And Blue Shark taking care of business. 23.32 to a 23.45. Looks like the Blue Shark with about a quarter of a car length lead. Langer swap, the Capri needs to be to 23.32 to stay in it. On your marks, get set, go. Not gonna happen. Wow, 22.98 to a 23.40. Yeah, Blue Shark just took the Capri to school. Next up, we've got the Lamborghini Marzal versus the Freeman Inner City Commuter. On your marks, get set, go! Good race, but Marzal hits the flat and takes off. 23.52 to a 23.69. Lamborghini takes the first one. Langer swap, the Freeman needs to beat a 23.52 to move on. On your marks, get set, go! And he tried. 2340 to 2353. Lamborghini moving on. Next up, we've got the Dodge Charger Mark III in lane number one and the Blaze Buster in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, making a race of it. Twenty-three thirty-four for the Blaze Buster to the twenty-three thirty-six. Looks like the Charger had the jump, but the Blaze Buster driving around him. Lane just swap. The Charger needs to be to twenty-three thirty-four to stay alive. On your marks, get set, go. Twenty-three twenty-two to a twenty-three forty-one. Mark three with the hero run in the second race. It's gonna advance into the next round. Next, we have the Rally Royale in lane number one and the Road Dragster in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. 
Rally Royale go. 23.63 to a 23.72. The Royale takes the first one. All right, lanes are swapped. The Road Dragster needs to be a 23.63. Stay in it. On your marks, get set. Go. And he's not going to do it. 23.61 to a 23.79. The Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. Rally Royale advances. This ought to be a good one. It's the gruesome twosome in lane number one and the drag bar in lane number two. On your marks, get set. Go. Drag war. 2291 to 2321. Drag war. Where did that come from? Lanes are swapped. The gruesome twosome needs to be to 2291 to get past the drag war. On your marks, get set. It's a 2301 to a 2302. Good run by both of them. But the Dragoir is moving on. It's the Atlas dump truck in lane number one versus the Boxhall Guildsman in lane number two. Yeah, he's back there. On your marks, get set, go. And it's pretty even going down the hill, but the dump truck stretches out his legs. <laughs> 2358 to a 2373. Atlas takes the first one. Lanes are swapped. The box hall needs to be a 2358 to stay alive. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, the dump truck with spankage. 2325 to a 2413. And the Atlas advances. Round two in the books. Winners on the inside, losers on the outside. Round three is going to start us off with the Civil Spider in lane number one and the Silver Streak in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Silver Streak with the jump. And he made And he manages to keep the lead all the way down the track. 23-23 to a 23-26. Silver Streak taking the first one. Lanes are swapped. The seven needs to be to 23-23 to stay alive. On your marks, get set, go. I might do it. Twenty-three fourteen to a twenty-three thirty-four. Wow. Siva Spider puts the silver streak to bed early. Next up, we got the Blue Shark in lane number one and the Lamborghini Marzal in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Marzal out with the lead, but the Blue Shark goes around him. Twenty-three forty-two to a twenty-three forty-six. Blue Shark takes the first one. Lanes are swapped. The Lamborghini needs to beat a twenty-three forty-two in order to advance. On your marks, get set, go. Oh my goodness! Twenty-three thirty-nine to a twenty-three fifty-nine. This Lamborghini gets a straight shot down the ramp and hits that transition. It rockets out of there. He's gonna move on. Next up, we got the Dodge Charger Mark III in lane number one and the Rally Royale in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. And it's the Charger, 22.95 to a 23.38. Well, that was Gappage. I think we're gonna run one more with lane swap just for posterity. Lanes are swapped. The Rally Royale needs speed of 2298 in order to advance. On your marks, get set, go. Not gonna happen. 
Wow. 2266 to a 2357. That is a serious time. The Dodge Charger moves on. Last race of round number three, we've got the Dragwar in lane number one and the Atlas in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Atlas taking care of the Dragwar, 23.33 to a 23.73. That was a terrible time by the Dragwar. Atlas takes the first one. Lane just swapped. The drag bar needs to be to 23.33 to go to the semis. On your marks, get set, go. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. 23.31 to a 23.43. So your Atlas moving on to the next round. Round three is done. Winners on the inside, losers on the outside. All right, here we go. First semifinal race. We've got the Civil Spider in lane number one and the Lamborghini Marzal in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Pretty close race. Twenty-three seventeen to a twenty-three twenty-five. Lamborghini had the jump, but the Civet drives around him on the big end. Lane just swapped. The Lamborghini needs to beat a twenty-three seventeen to go on to the final race. On your marks, get set, go. Not gonna happen. Twenty-three sixty to a twenty-three seventeen. Pretty lousy time by the Lamborghini Siva going to the final round. And for the next semifinal race, we've got the Dodge Charger Mark III in lane number one and the Atlas in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, Dodge Charger taking care of business. Twenty-two eighty-eight to a twenty-three eighteen. Dodge Charger taking the first one easily. Laser swap. Poor Atlas needs to beat a 2288 to go on to the finals. On your marks, get set, go. Wow, not gonna happen. 2290 to a 2366. And it's the Charger moving on to the final round. Round four in the books. Winners on the inside, losers on the outside. And this is our final race. But first, we're gonna find out who gets the third place spot on the podium. We've got the Lamborghini in lane number one and the Atlas in lane number two. On your marks, get set, go. Lamborghini. to a 2359. Lamborghini takes the first one. Langer swap. The Atlas needs to beat a 2349 to take third. On your marks. Get set. Go. Might do it. No, he didn't. 2359 to a 2373. <laughs> Lamborghini taking the number three spot. Race final. We got the Civis Spider in lane number one and the Dodge Charger Mark III in lane number two. Remember, I want to see best three out of five. On your marks, get set, go. It's the Dodge. It's the Dodge. 22.75 to a 23.24. Gap in the Siva. This thing is a weapon. Langer swap. The Dodge has one win. 
On your marks, get set, go. Now he gets another one. Twenty-two eighty-eight to a twenty-three fifteen. Charger turns on the wind lights one more time. Landers swap. The Civet has no wind so far. Let's see if that pooch can get one in. On your marks, get set, go. And that's it. Twenty-three twelve to a twenty-three seventeen, probably the closest race between the two of these cars. But the Dodge sweeps the Civa's leg in all three races. It's going to make him the overall winner of the Vintage Matchbox. All right, that's a race. Your nightmare racing, driving the Dodge Charger Mark III, taking the number one spot. And we've got Bloodhound one twenty-two in the Civa Spider taking second, and Castanets driving the Lamborghini Marzal coming in third. And thank you so much for all of you who participated in the Pick Your Ride. But now it's time to take our winner, see if he's got anything for the Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper Challenge, it's tonight's race winner versus my old number one, the Black Solaire. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, look at that. 2276 to 2295. Oh boy, the Charger, he's looking good. Lanes swap the solar needs to be to 2276 to stay in the bubble. On your marks, get set, go. It is not gonna happen. 2279 to a 2311. Solar, he's on a nosedive out of the stack. But the Dodge Charger is in. Next up, it's the Charger against the solid red front run in Fairmont. On your marks, get set, go. Ooh, pretty tight race. 2293 to a 2293. Very nice. And in case you're wondering, you see a number one and a number two there. Even though those times show to be tied, this timer actually goes down to 10 thousandths of a second. So the Dodge technically won that one by some unknown amount. I wouldn't be able to know for sure unless I had this thing hooked up to a computer. But for all intents and purposes, going to a thousandths, it's a tie. Okay, laser swap. On your marks, get set, go. Dodge with jump. 2278 to a 2286. The Dodge soldiers on. Next up, the Dodge challenges the Hong Kong Solar. On your marks, get set, go. Uh, Solar edges it out. 2277 to a 2284. Hong Kong setting the bar. Lanes are swapped. Will the Dodge be able to beat a 2277 and keep going? Let's find out. On your marks, get set, go. Mike, do it. 2273 to a 2289. Dodge getting it done by four thousandths. All right, next is the Dodge versus the Gold Hot One 300ZX. On your marks, get set. Go. Uh, 300, edging them out. 2291 to 2305. Hmm, okay. 2291 by the 300 ZX takes it. Lane to swap. The Dodge likes lane number two. It needs to be to 2291 to keep going. On your marks, get set. Go. Uh, 2283 to 2297. He is still moving. Next up, the Dodge faces a car you haven't seen in the stack before. It's the 52 Gram number 43 Grand Prix in the Pro Racing Series. He was recently out of the display, did some wheel magic to him, and when I mean magic, I mean graphite. And he made his way all the way up into the stack. Let's see if the Chargers got anything for him. On your marks, get set, go. Wow, Dodge, 2284 to 2288. Dodge taking the win in the slow lane. Hmm. 
Lane just swapped the Dodge, just needs to stay ahead of the Grand Prix to keep on going. On your marks, get set, go. And it's gonna happen. 2286 to 2289. Chooching on down the track. A battle of the Mopars. We got tonight's race winner versus the Fast and Furious 70 Charger. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, it's pretty tight. 2383 to a 2311. Saw the Charger uh, swim a little bit about halfway down the track. Fast and Furious, getting it done. Lane just swapped. The Mark III needs to beat a 2283 to move on. On your marks, get set, go. Better run that time. 2268 to a 2283. I'll say one thing. That guy's pretty consistent. But the Challenger just ripped off a fast one. Next up, the Dodge goes head-to-head -head with a car you haven't seen run in a while. It's the Han Solo Carbonite. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, Han Solo. 2290 to a 2313. This guy gets about half track and sometimes he swims. But Carbonite taking the first one with a 2290. Landers swap. The Dodge has proven it could beat a 2290 in the past. Let's see if he can do it now. On your marks, get set, go. No, he's not going to do it. 2282 to a 2294. Han Solo and Carbonite putting an end to the Dodge's run. Dodge Charger making it all the way up to the number eight spot in my collection. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope. Now granted, the car does run just a little bit inconsistent, but every now and then it pulls off some pretty damn good runs. I'm gonna go ahead and award him this spot. We've now got Front Run Fairmont on the bubble. Black Solaire out of the stack. He'll be going into the display. And I'm gonna take a little bit of time and see if any of the rest of these cars can get anywhere into the display or the stack. Be right back. A little longer than a few minutes later. Little bonus race. I had a subscriber ask me a while back, uh, what's faster, the old Blue Shark or the new Blue Shark? So the old Blue Shark in lane number one, weighing in at about 42 grams, and the 50th anniversary Blue Shark weighing in at 57.4. So the new one actually has a pretty good weight advantage. Let's see how it does. On your marks, get set, go. Well, I guess that answers that question. Wow, 2299 to a 2354. Okay. Uh, I had this one in my stash. Uh, I have not rerun it since I've done the new track, and evidently this car right here likes the new track layout. So uh, let's go ahead and swap lanes, see what it does. All right, lanes are swapped. The 50th anniversary is in lane number one. On your marks, get set, go. Yeah, nice. Okay, 2314 to a 2356. So lane two, definitely the faster, but this one is definitely quicker than his vintage counterpart. All right, friends, a little post-race update. Again, that charger in the number eight spot in the stack, and that is my overall, number eight overall. And to whoever asked me about the 50th anniversary Blue Shark. I think it may have been Jet Young. I appreciate it because that got the car out of storage and uh, redusted and worked up a little bit and ran down this new track and it sits, oh, I don't know, probably 10th overall in my 51 to 62 gram weight class. Just getting beat out by the Red Murata, beating out the Yellow Show Hop. So that's pretty good spot right there for that car. And uh, dusted a couple other cars that I thought did pretty well. And you're looking at the gruesome twosome right there. He is sitting 11th overall in the 31 to 40 gram class. I redusted him and I also did the Jaguar or the Dragwar, I'm sorry. And the Dragwar was quick, but it fell off in speed really fast. That one stayed pretty quick after I did a light redusting and now sits 
right below the cove light, right above the Honda Spocket. And that car and the 50th is the only thing that made it into the display. The Civa Spider, when tested up against the gatekeeper to the 31 to 40 gram weight class, which is the Lotus Esprit, he was a few thousands behind him. Each time I ran him, I just couldn't do anything to get him around. And I did actually redust the Civa just a little bit before I started testing him against the rings. Not fast enough to get into the display. And if you want to try to start searching for speed out of these old Matchbox wheels, I'd say look for the five spoke, the skinny wheels with the speed ring. Make sure if you buy these on eBay or something like that, don't buy that car unless you can see the bottom and you know all four of those wheels are pointing straight and that little speed ring going around it looks pretty smooth all the way around it. Another little note for you racers out there, these eight dot wheels that Matchbox has. Do not bother running them if you're trying to find speed. I've got quite a few of these guys. Nothing with these wheels did any good as far as speed. And this thing barely even rolls as it is. And with that being said, our bracket wheels, or whatever you want to call those. Um, he's got them. He's got them. He's got them. and he's got them. None of them made it past the first round. So if you're looking for speed, I would say pass on the eight dot wheels and pass on the bracket wheels. And another little thing I wanna to touch on real quick. I sent three cars up to uh, Tim's at Blue Line Racing for the King of the Stocks race. And uh, if you haven't seen his channel yet, make sure you go over there, patronize this channel, give him a subscription and uh, let him know I sent you. But this car, Fast and Furious 69 Mustang, taking the King of the Stocks Tournament Champion and also the Northeast Beast Track Champion for the Stocks. So really proud to have that hardware sitting here next to my rank cars. Glad to have sent that up there and really pleased with the performance of this car. Again, thank you, Tim, for hosting that race. I know it's a lot of work. We all appreciate it very much. That's all I've got for you tonight. Hope you guys like the racing. Had a good time running these old cars down the track one more time. And don't let those old matchboxes get past you. Sometimes you'll find a fast one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. That way you're notified of future uploads from the channel. Until next time, y'all stay healthy. Have fun racing. Well, they say all good things come to an end. What's that got to do with this show? <laughs>